Hello, I'm Erica with Blacks and Period Films, and this is day 12 of our Write It series for Black History Month 2019. After the end of the Civil War, many of the newly freed people went searching for their beloved relatives and close friends. There were even ads placed in newspapers in the hopes of getting their messages to their loved ones. Leonard Pitts Jr. covers this phenomenon in his 2012 historical fiction novel, Freeman. Main character Sam goes on a search for his love, Tilda. Although Sam is the main character, there are also two other storylines. We follow Prudence, Prudence Kent, a white widow, and her adopted black sister, Bonnie, who leave Boston to open a school for newly free black people in Mississippi. We also follow Sam's wife, Tilda, as she deals with a crazed ex-master who refuses to accept the loss of the war. When asked his reason for writing his novel, Pitts responded, Well, obviously, the first goal of any novel is to entertain. Beyond that, though, there were a number of things I was out to accomplish. I wanted to write a love story that I thought would have a particular resonance for African American women. I think there is something inherently affirming in the idea that a man would walk a thousand miles in a nearly hopeless search for one particular woman. I wanted to question Albert indirectly, the whole stereotype of African Americans as a people who are frivolous about family connections, particularly paternal connections. That was certainly not the case right after the Civil War. Finally, I wanted to deal with questions of identity. We tend to treat race as something obvious and immutable, a bright hard line of separation that cannot be crossed. But from science's point of view, race does not exist. It's a myth. And if you look at the history of race, you find it's a lot more complicated and self-contradictory than we typically believe. I like the idea of characters grappling with identity in the context of a country that was forced to do the same thing. End quote. After my reading of this moving novel, I can definitely say that Pitt achieved what he was set out to do. From the start of the book, the love Sam has for Tilda is tangible. We can feel it through his every word, the way he remembers things. You can tell that he loved her very deeply. While the book is not a romance novel, love is clearly a large part of the novel. It is, after all, one of Sam's motivations for his journey. It is also the motivation that many of the other characters have. Prudence and Bonnie have a love for justice, instilled in them by Prudence's father. But, while love is present, we are also met with loss and tragedy along the way. As we follow Sam, Prudence, Bonnie, and Tilda's journeys, we see them gain and lose, unlearn lies while learning truths, and experience joy and pain. There are incredible highs as well as terrible and harrowing lows. This well-written novel will make you laugh, cry, it will make you feel, and would make for an amazing period drama. Someone should write it.